Hi, readers. Today we're reading another historical fiction story. This story is called The Yellow Star, The Legend of King Christian X of Denmark. It's written by Carmen Agra Didi and illustrated by Henry Sorensen. The Yellow Star, The Legend of King Christian X of Denmark, is a legend. A legend is a story that some people think of as true, but that has not been proven. Now this story, the story of King Christian X, is a very famous story about the resistance of King Christian X and regular Danes against the injustices brought on by the Nazis in Denmark. Remember that when we read historical fiction, we have to pay attention to the setting, when and where a story takes place, as well as what kind of a place is this, and what big events are happening at this time. Take a moment to look at this map and to find Denmark. You'll notice that Denmark is this smaller country in blue, and it borders Germany, a much larger country, to its south. People from Denmark are called Danes or Danish people. When we read historical fiction, it's important to pay attention to who has power. And remember that power is the ability to have authority or control over others. In this story, the King of Denmark was King Christian X. But at the same time, Germany had taken over Denmark, so King Christian X and all of Denmark were under the control of Adolf Hitler. When we read historical fiction, there are often themes of injustice. Injustice is when something is unfair. And at the same time, there are also great themes of resistance, and resistance is when we go against something that is wrong. The legend of King Christian X of Denmark is a story of King Christian X and Danish people's resistance against the injustice of the Nazis. The legend of King Christian X of Denmark. Early in the year 1940, in the country of Denmark, there were only Danes. Tall Danes, stout Danes, old Danes, silly Danes, cranky Danes, and even some great Danes. But no matter how different from each other they seemed, the Danes held one thing in common. All were loyal subjects of their beloved King Christian. Every morning, their king rode alone and unarmed along the streets of Denmark's capital, Copenhagen. Who's that? A curious visitor once asked. Why, that's our King Christian, his Danish host responded. Without a bodyguard? Asked the astonished guest. My friend, came the proud reply. A king so beloved needs no bodyguard. We Danes would all stand together in defense of our king. Little did the Danes know how much they would need their wise king in the dark days to come. Like a fierce storm, war was spreading across Europe, and even good King Christian was powerless to stop it. Soon, Nazi soldiers gathered like dark clouds at the Danish border. Their arrival in Copenhagen brought food shortages, curfews, and a new flag, which was hung at the palace. The flag stood for war and fear and hatred. The Danes watched and waited to see what their king would do. King Christian sent a Danish soldier to remove the flag. Readers, let's pause here for a moment. The author, Carmen Agrediti, said, like a fierce storm, war was spreading across Europe. Take a look at these two maps. The map on the left is a map of Europe before World War II. And the map on the right 
is a map of Europe during World War II. And if you notice, before World War II, Denmark was its own country just north of Germany, and it shared a border right here with Germany. Germany, a much larger and stronger country with a stronger military, took over most of Europe. All of these red parts came under the control of Germany, including Denmark right here. Upon discovering it missing, a Nazi officer demanded to see the king and asked, who took down the flag? I sent a soldier to remove it, replied the king. Oh, you did, did you? Well, tomorrow another will fly in its place, the officer boasted. Then tomorrow I will send another soldier to remove it, countered the king. And I will have that man shot, threatened the Nazi. Leaning forward, King Christian said evenly, Then be prepared to shoot the king, for I will be that soldier. The Nazi flag did not fly from the palace again. The missing flag became a powerful symbol of resistance, and King Christian's subjects found reasons to pass the palace gates to see where it once hung. Yet it was only a small victory. The king and his people's greatest test was still to come. The terrible news arrived quietly, with leaflets that fluttered down on the city of Copenhagen. Effective immediately, all Jews must sew onto their clothing a yellow star which must be visible at all times. The people of Denmark were frightened. They had heard terrible stories. In some places, once Jews wore the yellow star, they were taken away and not heard from again. As before, the people looked to their king. This time, their king was as frightened as his people. Without the yellow star to point them out, the Jews looked like any other Danes. Gentiles and Jews were all Danish subjects who worship God in different ways. If King Christian called on the tiny Danish army to fight, Danes would die. If he did nothing, Danes would die. Perhaps it was this riddle of the yellow star that drew King Christian to his balcony that night. The sky was filled with the light of many stars. If you wished to hide a star, wondered the king to himself, where would you place it? His eyes searched the heavens. Of course, he thought. The answer was so simple. You would hide it among its sisters. The king summoned his tailor. The tailor arrived and listened to the king's surprising request. We only have an hour before I ride at dawn, the king said urgently. Can you complete this task in time? Yes, your highness. I'll begin immediately. The tailor bowed respectfully. And you do understand what this means, the king insisted. I do, your highness, as will all your subjects, he answered with pride. I trust they will, whispered the king, placing as much faith, as much faith in his Danish subjects as they had in him. The following morning, the king of Denmark, with courage and defiance, rode alone through Copenhagen. He was dressed in his finest clothing. As they watched him pass, the subject of King Christian, the subjects of King Christian, understood what they should do. And, once again, in the country of Denmark, there were only Danes. Readers, what was King Christian X's plan to protect the Jews of Denmark? And why did it work? Take a moment to think about why this story is titled The Yellow Star, The Legend of King Christian X of Denmark. 